We got a full day today. We're heading out to the buoy, just a couple miles out from the buoy now. 6.45, I got an early start. We got about a dozen baits down there. So hopefully there's still my mines hanging out at the buoy. There's been a lot of them there. None real big, mostly 10 pounders, but the whole area looked good yesterday. A lot of bait there. After we left, some tunas came up too. So yeah, I'll be up to the buoy here in a couple miles, get some bait out and see what's there. Oh, corner! Okay, come over here. Ah, oh, he's. Okay, guys. Now let these fish take line. When they're done taking line, we're gonna be going back to them. Okay. When you can crank, crank. Okay. And they're gonna be ah, he's. Yep. That is so f***ing cool. Well, we're a mile away from the buoy. The boat in front of us, another boat out of our harbor, was hooked up right in front of us. I think they had a double or triple on, but we were heading kind of right towards the buoy and we just took a, a double. Both corners, I think they're both ahis. We had the, what was that, the ninja and the beauty? Yeah. We had the Aloha Lures ninja get bit and the Aloha Lures 12 inch beauty. Biggest thing here, guys, it's not a sprint. As long as that line's tight, you guys are doing great. Now I've got the boat in neutral, guys, so just trying to help you get a little bit of line. The tuna fishing's been pretty terrible this year. You never know for sure until you see them, but I think these are gonna be tunas. There was a couple that came up in this area yesterday, so hopefully we keep them pinned here. We're about 10 minutes in, we had to put her over to the other side. They were crossed each other, but we got our first one coming up here. They're both both back. We got one back about 75 yards, one back probably 125. Both took pretty good runs right off the bat. minutes and we got the first one coming up here almost there yep there's your swivel coming up right there very close good job yep that's an ahi One more pull. Right under the chin, in the head. Okay. Now up and in. <clears throat> Yeah, good going. Good. Okay, now watch out, guys. We just gotta bleed this fish. Hold them there in. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Just dump that whole area. Congratulations. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, we got the first one there. Second one is coming up here. We got about 50 yards. Pull here, just nice and uh, smooth on the pull up. I'm gonna try to put him on the starboard side. Why are you doing corkscrew in here? Just don't let that line touch the side. Back 
truck, yeah. Ready? Yeah. A big one there. Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> oh yeah. Good going, man. Oh We're gonna bleed oh. him first, but I want you to bleed him. Two yellow Boy, he was hooked perfect. Congratulations. I put it in the trash bucket again. I closed it. Good job. All right, guys, we're going to take a minute to get these fish kind of taken care of, and then we'll go to the buoy. Yeah, I think maybe 110, 120. We got them there. Awesome. Double. Both two corner bites. We had that short corner, that Aloha Lures 12 inch beauty, and that Ninja on the long corner. Awesome. 110, 120, probably around there. But yeah, we're just inside the buoy here. We'll go to the buoy, see if there's any my eyes there. I could carry these fish, get them, get them on ice, take a minute to do that. Oh, that's awesome. Got our tunas G and G'd into the fish bag, got them on ice, and got the buoy right here. We're gonna get baits out. Okay, I'm bit. Yours will go on the chair. Okay, double. Lift it up and in. Okay, another one here. You ready for another one? Okay. I gotta be able to. Cool. Okay, and it's gonna happen fast, so lift them up and in. Then reset. Yep. Choke up on that leader and up and into the bag. Yeah. All right, two baits out, two my there. We'll go right back. Oh, I just got bit. I got bit while I was dropping it. That. And then you can drop that bait. Another one on here. Boy, that one has a wound on it like a marlin tried to eat it. Yeah. Nice one there. That's a bigger one. Good job. All right, I didn't have the GoPro running, but another bait out, another Mai Mai on. to troll and there's more my eyes there but they're small and two other boats right around us hooked up the ahis again so we want to get back to tuna fish in there it's rare that they bite like this so we want to get our lures back out just work this area see if we can get another tuna bite we can always go back later on with our baits back to the buoy we've been working a mile in either direction of the buoy back and forth uh no bites or so just coming back up to the buoy now we'll throw bait Bait out, see if we can get any more my lines. Nice. Nice job. Those trigger fish are pretty annoying today. Decent sized Akus. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, those are skipjack tunas there. I'm bit. Okay, I'm on. All right, got another one. I think that's eight or nine. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Okay, one more and then we'll set up trolling. Well, no bites on that. Last bait there was getting picked apart by Hoggy. So we're gonna set up trolling, kind of work this area for probably another half hour and then start heading for home. Okay, we're hooked up. We just left the buoy. Okay, clear, because that took a lot of line. Start cranking when you can, okay? You just get your lines cleared, you got plenty of time. Move your center, Ed, to your long rigger. Oh, it's a marlin. It's a marlin, see it? Oh, it's bigger than that. Okay, Ed. Yeah, accept that. Get that in. Alright, well, we just left the buoy. We're like a mile outside of the buoy and we got to Marlin on. Got out in a hurry, took three, four hundred yards of line. Back it down, gonna make some progress on him. We are gonna release this fish if we're lucky enough to get him up, but we got a long way to go before then. Yeah, you have to do the reel again. Sorry, I'm gonna get that. Yeah. Get him in the bucket, yep. Yeah. Ten minutes in, we're getting line back. We got him out probably 200 yards right now. Unfortunately, he just popped off. Good angle and just unlucky pulled hook on him. Set back up and keep trolling through here. Oh man, he was right there too. Unreal. Dang. Well, we just got into a little flutter pile out here and we got another fish on. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an ahi. I watched one miss it and then another one came in and ate it. It's a nine inch Leroy blueberry. Falling pretty good. I think it's just waking up. It didn't, it took that one nice run and then kind of stopped. about a hundred that one. Yeah. Oh. Right around a hundred there. So hit that Leroy blueberry for a little bit of a bad gap, a couple inches further back than I would like to, but that's all right. But yeah, nice fish. We'll get lure set back up. Right before we had that fish, we had another, miss another bite too, which I'm guessing was probably a tuna. So we'll have to turn for home here, but we'll take a couple more laps through that area. Well, we turn back around, we got another one on here. Same lure, the blueberry. There's a manta ray right there. Dude, that's awesome. I don't want him running into that line. Big manta ray that's right behind the boat while we're fighting this fish.
cool because they're in that bird pile. There's a bird pile to the east of us yeah. right back there and they're in that pile, but they're also just in the blind. About 10 minutes in here. Gain on him. This fish is dogging us pretty good. He's down deep. We're just getting little by little. He's taking some, we're getting some, but I'd imagine probably a little bit bigger than that last one. We got about 40 yards to go. He just came up to the surface here. Coming up right there. He's like five yards out. Coming down. There's your swivel right there. Oh yeah. Oh boy. This looks good. Jeez, you see that sickle come out of the water? Okay, stop cracking. One more pull. Oh Ooh, boy, that was close. Yeah. That had the dish leader there. It's a pretty nice size one. We almost had him one more pull and I was about to hit him with the gap, but he took off, so fight him a little bit longer here. Okay, can you hold in there? Hey, open it. Ready? <clears throat> That's a big one there. Oh, good job. Oh. Good job. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm done. Woo! We're going home. That one's that one's 130, 140. Yeah. I have to applaud their effort. These tennis are so powerful. Awesome, we got him. Probably our biggest one of the day. 130, maybe 140, I'm guessing. It's getting bled down there. Gonna get those last two G and G, get them on ice, and we're gonna point for home. We used up all our ice, so we gotta get home, get those guys taken care of. When we get back to the dock there, we'll pull all those fish out, get a weight on them, and then get one of those ahis cut up. Fairline's now we're two miles out from the harbor, so we'll get in here, we'll get all those fish out, get pictures of them. But yeah, that was one of the best, best days I've had. Probably the best tuna bite I've ever seen. We had five ahi bites, we got four, nine my mys, I think, and then we had that marlin that we fought all the way up to about 40 yards and then pulled the hook on. Got about 600, 700 pounds of ice waiting for us at the dock. So we'll get in there, get some of those fish cut up, and get a bunch more ice on them. What was it, Ed? 102? 102. And that was our smallest one. G&G weight 102, 129, 134. Yeah, I'm doing some up there. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's just, it's I'd be in shape to catch something like this. There's really no tr way to train for it. That's the uh, thing. Yeah. 
to know if you're gonna have that. cool in the US. The plane doesn't catch like this. Yeah, I know. Burn. They'll show up. All right, here's some of that ahi from yesterday. I got it in the Ziploc with paper towels on it just to keep the moisture off of it. I'm gonna make some poke with this piece here. There's a bunch of different ways you can make poke. I'm just gonna do it real simple how I like to do it, but cut the fish up into small pieces. I'll mix that with sesame oil, soy sauce, sriracha, sesame seeds. I'll put mayonnaise in some, I'll leave some without mayonnaise in it. And then I'll put avocado in it, sometimes seaweed and tobacco as well. So that's really good like that. I'll just take that mixture and then I'll put that over sushi rice. There's a bunch of different ways you can make poke. That's how I like to do it and it turns out really good.